y'all are this afternoon. This is your buddy George Jones over at the Bergen Gun Range with my next installment on eight. What is it? I got this old used gun. Yeah, that's it. I ain't had a drop neither. And the old used gun I got today is this guy. U.S. rifle, caliber 30, 1903 A3. And I've chosen this particular gun to show for a reason. This is, in fact, a complete 1903 Springfield, 03A3. Now, the thing about 03A3 guns is you see them all the time made up by national ordinance and different concerns that have created these guns out of parts and will try and sell you the bill of goods of it being a the real McCoy. This one is, in fact the real McCoy and that's why I've chosen this one to do the video with so let's grade it out and take a look at it and see what it actually grades like now finding an original World War II sling that's in any kind of condition serviceability at all is just completely impossible uh, this is a US 1909 sling it's embossed RAI 1941 uh, it's the only replica thing on this gun now let's see what the information says here the information says US Remington model 1903 a3 the serial number is 371 uh, the uh, bolt handle is mm, it looks good the bolt handle is serial numbered to the um, the action now I don't know because a lot of times you don't see these guys that anything else is serial numbered to them except the receiver it's not like a European service rifle where every part on it has the ending four numbers of the serial number on it like a Mauser okay now, let's see. Let's go on. Let's look at the front sight. And the front sight is, in fact, correct. It does not have the front sight cover, which you sometimes see on them. But, you know, that's, you know, readily available. It is Remington Arms 244. So it's manufactured February of 44. Now, that's, the barrel was manufactured February of 44. The gun could have been manufactured any time after say 1940 now the rear side is correct for this gun cut off plugs everything on it floor plate it's been reparkerized everything matches in terms of the parkerization uh, floor plate trigger guard assembly is correct the butt plate is correct and it's stamped metal instead of forged it does have forged sling swivel on the back which is the style you would normally find on a 1903 Springfield but the front band and swivel is stamped as well as the stacking swivel the nose band and bayonet lug everything is correct about it now how did this rifle actually come to be there were so many 1903 Springfields in the world and the 1903 Springfield was the standard service weapon at the time all the way up till 1936. 1936 they adopted the M1 rifle. Now there was no pressing war issue at the time. There were skirmishes in Asia and so forth. At that time there was saber rattling going on in Europe at the time. But there was no actual breakout of war going on. So 1936, they adopted the M1 rifle and then just uh, went about not adopting it very well. By the time 1940 rolled around, they knew they were in trouble. So the call went out. What have you got? Well, what they had was was stockpiles of, of uh, 1903 Springfield rifles in arsenals. They had stockpiles of uh, U.S. rifle 1917s in stock. And they had a few Tommy guns that people had turned in in 1934 when they made them illegal for private citizens to own them. And that's about it. 
so the skirmish, the scurry was on to try and create something. Remington had the tooling for these, Winchester had the tooling for these, and they went to making them in a little bit cheaper, easier to manufacture version. And it was designated the 1903 A3. Uh, they had a sniper rifle based on this rifle, the 1903 A4. Um, and, you know, it just, just a stopgap weapon. Well, it turned out to be a stopgap weapon that carried them all the way through World War II. Uh, Marines particularly were still fighting this rifle at the end of World War II. Um, and regular 1903s, you know, some, some, the Army got a lot of M1 rifles, but the Marines didn't get them as fast. Mainly because they were doing a pretty good job of killing chaps with the rifle they had. So, the big thing that points this out, when you look at this thing and you see one of these at a, dif at a distance, the way you can tell a 1903 from a regular 1903 Springfield, or the way you can tell a 1903 A3 from a 1903 Springfield is the glaring difference of the rear sight. The 1903 has the rear sight assembly up here on the barrel, on a raft, like on a Mauser and has nothing back here and then you have this little hump that sticks up there that indicates that it's a 1903 a3 all right i've run my mouth for a while about this gun uh let's shoot a fight a little bit i'll tell you what i'll do i got me some ear mufflers on okay we got some targets up down there at 125 yards i got me some 30 odd 650 grain Remington soft points. And that magazine cut off up there. Put that up there. Now the bolts will go all the way to the rear. One. Two. Come on, get in here. Three. Arr, arr, arr. <laughs> Four. And five. All righty. It's not my rifle. I look down there and make sure there ain't a cleaning patch in there. All right. Let's give her a whirly gig right here. I'll go with with hasty sling. I'll go with hasty sling. There we go. And let's give her a whirl. That would be the steel silhouette at 125 yards. Maybe you can hear me hit it if I'm lucky enough to hit it. That has a nice recoilitation in it. That's a good recoiling gun right there. That semi-C stock helps a lot too. I ain't hit it yet. All right. Where am I hitting down there? I'm not sure. Where am I hitting? I think you're hitting low. Or it wouldn't kick dirt. Well, I got one more chance at it. <coughs> one more chance at it. It's got a nice hard kick to it. Now let's talk about this. That's a good shooting old rifle, even though I can't shoot it very good. 
1903 A3. This rifle is in excellent condition. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of cartouches remaining on it, where it has been arsenal refinished stock a few times, and the butt plate is a little bit bigger than the wood back here on the back, which indicates you know, arsenal re refinishing, uh, which is, given the age of this rifle, and as long as it was in service, you know, you get that a lot. But, doesn't hurt the value of the gun very much. Uh, in today's market, a rifle in this condition, even with arsenal repark, is, these guys are worth about a thousand bucks. I mean, that's all there is to it. You see one for sale, and they want $1,000 for it. And one in this condition will probably bring a little more because it's a really fine example. Oh, and it got off. Uh, just an outstanding old gun. Uh, like, take, share, pie, commentate, and subscribe. Leave me no dollar in the Patreon bucket on the way out the door. And if you don't want to, I'll keep right on making content for you. Uh, let's keep being careful during these dangerous times, especially if you live in an urban area. You know, don't drive into trouble. Turn around and go back. Even if it's a one-way street, hang a you and keep on going about your business. All right, then. God bless everybody, and we'll see you soon.